Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Philanthropone, and I am back with another video here. This time, it is a environment, Steam Home environment, and this one's making some headlines. It's, it's generating some buzz because it's made by Valve, and Valve doesn't slack whenever they release something, so I just had to check it out. Also, this is the first video where I'm actually toying with super sampling and the Vive wireless adapter because I wanna, I wanna cover that in my review for it. Um, I normally do not touch super sampling because I record videos and the last thing I need when I'm recording a video is drop frames or crashing and things like that. So I, I normally don't touch it, but I'm on 1.5, 150% right now. And loading this thing up for the first time actually did create an error, but now I'm good. And things do look pretty nice and crisp. Wow. I don't know what. I think it's a robot. I don't know if there's much interaction here. But the scenery itself is quite impressive. And the next game I think I'm going to push for. Oh, it looks like there's designated points here. Uh, where I'm going to toy with super sampling is probably Doom VFR. I'm thinking, don't quote me on that. Um, it could change. But I do want to try a game like Doom, which is graphical demanding and I've also heard reports of Fallout 4 having issues with higher super sampling. One person left a comment, I forget your uh, YouTube name, sorry, about um, th about this issue of them having performance hit, a huge performance hit when getting the Vive wireless adapter as far as super sampling goes. Um, they said they had a 7700K CPU and it's, I'm, I'm trying to compare this, that kind of, that statement led me to want to do this because I have an 8700K CPU. I'm not, I'm not doing this to brag. I'm not trying to one up the person say, oh, I have a higher generation than you. But the, the eighth generation 8700K CPU was the first flagship CPU by Intel that has six cores. Whereas seventh generation and prior, the highest was four cores. So I'm actually on a hexacore CPU, which may make a difference i know it's mainly gpu intensive when it comes to super sampling and my recommended super sampling percentage by default without me touching every anything was 80 percent it wasn't even one it wasn't even 1.0 100 percent so that tells me that yeah there, there's gonna be uh, a hit as far if you're really picky about visual quality um which i would be if i would if i was just a regular player and not a youtuber a VR YouTuber. Wow, there's a path up here. Oh, but does it end? Nope. It's got little designated stair points. Okay, it just loops around. Yeah, it's pretty cool though, but like I said, I, I didn't expect a whole lot of interaction. Can I do anything? Um, apparently, if you didn't know, S Valve is due to release, I don't know when, three VR games, like by Valve themselves, and there's a lot of hype and uh, high expectations for when they release their VR games because they're probably working hard on the knuckle controllers and all that. Anyway, this video is just turning into me just talking without observing much. Here's a robot sweeping. Wow, that the bristles on that broom are pretty impressive. They look like it looks like there's individual bristles on it. All right, that's uh, this area is kind of boring. I don't know how big this area is. Um, yeah, but nothing's no, no issues so far on 150%. Um, and this game is visually nice. So that's encouraging. Um, so when I say 150%, that's my global setting. I, I didn't set it like per app. Because you can set super sampling per app or game. Uh, you know, so you can tweak what percentage you want for each individual game that you play. But I have it on global, where every game I play will be at 150. Will I stay at 150? I mean, if games perform like this, then yeah. But it's just a cause for concern of why my default was at 80 percent and uh, and not higher. Well, let's go up here. Oh, what's that? Yeah, this place is called the Gulping Goat, by the way. It's like the number one... Oh, there's a beehive over here. It's like the number one environment to download right now. That's a giant... Oh, no! I think I made them mad. I feel like there's something... Look, there's like a teddy bear there. I feel like there's something I can... 
I'm s oh no, wow, I teleported way. Oh well, I wanted to go see what this thing was real quick. But Valve, you know, they're known for their polish and very well at optimizing. Very well at optimizing their games, their content that they release. So maybe that's why this is uh, working out so well for me. No trespassing violators will be milked. Violators will be pasteurized. Well, pretty cool. Out of order. Wow. Oh, there's a platform up there. Oh, I can. Oh, there's nothing down. There's nothing down there. Um. Can I go up there. Much be oh, I haven't been over there. I don't think. Oh, shortcut? Yeah. Right here. That's some, that looks really lovely. Oh man, this is a big deal. Whoa. So they're like a greenhouse with a fish tank. Wow, this is quite the farm. All right, well, there you have it. There's a butterfly. And this, is, I think, is the ultimate goal, is to just get in here and, oh, can I, oh, can I fill this up? No. <gasps> Look, you can size things just like in your home. Just like in Steam Home. Yeah. That's a giant water jug. Water. Water. All right. Well, there you have it. I will have another video in store shortly with some more super sampling tests that I'm going to pull off with Doom VFR, maybe something else, Fallout 4, something demanding. Um. And I remember when I got, when I upgraded my CPU, a huge performance boost in Fallout 4 VR. So that leads me to wonder how things fare up with the Vive Wireless Adapter. QVR is actually the game that led me to upgrade my CPU. If you don't know the story, that game wouldn't even run. It would run, but it was totally unplayable because of frame rate. I couldn't do a thing. Upgraded the CPU to the 8700K and... Now it runs flawlessly, so I'm, I'm curious about Fallout 4 and other graphical demanding games. All right, well, there you have it. Once again, that is a Steam Home environment. Anyone can go download that for free, so if you want to check it out and show off your friends, do it. And I was impressed with the super sampling visuals in that game. Everything looked much more crisp and lovely. So thank you so much, as always, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you're new to my channel and are interested in VR or gaming in general, be sure to subscribe to my channel for all of my latest updates in the future. Thank you once again. Till next time. Peace.